Hey, babe. Yes, dear? There's someone here to see you. Who's here? The internet. The internet? What yeah. do they want? They want to know about your beard box. Oh. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, hold on one second. I'll be right with you. Hey everybody, Kevin with Irish Beard Bomb here, and according to my wife, you guys want to talk about my new beard wash. A um, little bit of a surprise seeing you guys here in my bathroom again, but alright. Probably thinking, Kevin, finally, you got a beard wash out. Yes, I do. Uh, it's the new Harp and Whistle Wash from Irish Beard Bomb. Um, probably thinking Harp and Whistle Wash. Um, you know, Irish Beard Bomb, I try and keep with the Irish Celtic theme. No two bigger instruments, no two more influential inst instruments in Irish history than the harp and the whistle, um, or the fadogue, as uh, they call it, the whistle. So, figured, why not? You know, harp and whistle, kind of cool, kind of cool name. It's got a little harp on the top there. That's the national symbol of Ireland, is the harp. So, enough on the name. So, another thing you're probably thinking of, Kevin, I've seen quite a few of your other videos, and I've even seen you talk online. You're a huge Dr. Bronner's fan. And, yeah, actually, you know, I, you know, I have been a Dr. Bronner's fan. Still actually keep some right in my shower here, the Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Pure Castile Soap. You know, the, the only downfall that I don't like about Dr. Bronner's and I don't know if I can if you can see like Dr. Bronner's I mean it comes out I mean it is it is like water um, just very runny um, you're in the shower trying to use it and you gotta scoop it and then get it in your beard um, a lot of it goes on the ground so um, when I was developing my, my beard wash I definitely wanted something uh, a lot thicker so you can see it comes in a little you know little bottle, little flip top, and if you can see it, but yeah, I mean, it's very, very thick, very shampoo-like, so, and that's what I like, I can use just a little bit, you know, pour it in there, turn my hand upside down, and it'll stay, lathers up real nice, get it everywhere, and so, but let's, uh, let's move out of my bathroom here, it's a, uh, you know, a little weird being in here. So, uh, I'll see you back here in a second. Alright, we're back. You know, a little, little more comfy, a little more cozy here in my living room. So, back at the new Harp and Whistle Wash from Irish Beard Balm. Um, I don't make this in-house. I actually have uh, Jason Dorr from the Beardsman Oil Company uh, make this for me. Uh, when, I, when I decided I wanted to do a beard wash, did a lot of research, and a lot of the research you know, came back. Uh, it, it's not easy to do a beard wash. Um, it, if you don't get everything just right, pH, alkalin alkalinity, um, you can hurt somebody. You can really scar the skin. Uh, you can damage the beard. And to be honest, it was just... It, it just wasn't worth it for me um, to try and uh, you know spend months and months and a year trying to develop a product when there was just somebody out there that that, that already does it. He he makes his own beard wash. Um, he, he is a, a a mastermind when it comes to making products. He also makes beard balms, beard oils, all great stuff. Um, and, and don't get me wrong, this is, this is not his product uh, rebranded into my bottle. We, we spent a long time going back and forth, um, really deciding what we wanted in a product. Um, I, I told myself I liked Dr. Bronner's. Um, uh, I liked when I put it in, it was uh, invigorating, uh, opened up my sinuses, uh, really uh, helped my dry, itchy skin. So the two, th the two things we knew we wanted to add was peppermint and menthol. Menthol is what gives it that, your sinus opening, wow. And the peppermint um, really helps for dry, itchy, flaky skin. So I knew I wanted those two ingredients. So 
that's what we, we set upon and after a few months of back and forth, sending samples, um, sending samples out to um, some of my uh, brand ambassadors, getting feedback um, back and forth for, for a while, we finally settled on the ingredients um, and the ingredients are jojoba oil, coconut oil, olive oil, and almond oil, vegetable glycerin, vitamin E, citric acid, and essential oils for fragrance, and essential oils, peppermint, and methyl. Men menthol. Man, having a hard time today. So, surprisingly, we, you know, I, I didn't think oil, oils could really work as a cleanser. So how do you get an oil to work? And Because it really lathers up, really does a great job, really cleans my beard. Most of you know that I'm a mechanic. My beard gets grungy, dirty. It gets all of that out. I really don't know. Uh, I, you know, I, I know the process. He tells me how he makes it. And somewhere in that process, all these ingredients turn into a really great all-natural cleanser. So, I think that's about it. Um, you, you can get this on my website, uh, irishbeardbomb.com. I believe, like this bottle runs thirteen dollars with free shipping. If you don't want to, if you don't want to spend that that much, um, I, I think I'm the only. The only maker out there that also offers these these tiny little little bottles, you know, little flip top. These are you know a half an ounce or one ounce, probably one ounce. Um, these are five dollars with free shipping. So you know if you didn't want to delve into buying the big bottle, you can just buy a little sampler. Also, I pair these in, in combos where you can get like a little half ounce sampler of the beard wash and then a little half ounce sample of my beard balm for like 10 bucks. So if you wanted to, if you're watching this video and you've never tried any of my products before, a great way to get into, you know, a beard wash and a beard balm for very little cost. So, like I said, I think that's about it for today. Um, head over to irishbeardbalm.com, pick yourself up the new Harp and Whistle wash. So, and... As always, beard on and beard long.